South Korea's public pension fund invests $33.75 million in MicroStrategy shares. MicroStrategy Pension, South Korea, the NPS, one of the world's largest pension funds, is diversifying into digital asset companies to broaden its investment scope and seek higher returns. Last updated August 16, 2024 at 846 GMT3. Crypto Reporter. Shalini Nagarajan, crypto reporter Shalini Nagarajan about author Shalini is a crypto reporter who provides in-depth reports on daily developments and regulatory shifts in the cryptocurrency sector. Author profile share copied last updated August 16, 2024 at 846 GMT3. Why trust Crypto and WS with over a decade of crypto coverage? Crypto and WS delivers authoritative insights you can rely on. Our veteran team of journalists and analysts combines in-depth market knowledge with hands-on testing of blockchain technologies. We maintain strict editorial standards, ensuring factual accuracy and impartial reporting on both established cryptocurrencies and emerging projects. Our long-standing presence in the industry and commitment to quality journalism make Crypto News a trusted source in the dynamic world of digital assets. Read more about Crypto News. South Korea's public pension fund invested in MicroStrategy, acquiring 245,000 shares in the firm, valued at $33.75 million during the second quarter this year. A recent 13 Fahrenheit's filing showed that the investment represents 0.04% within the fund's total U.S. stock holdings. During the third quarter last year, the National Pension Service, NPS, bought 282,673 Coinbase shares, marking the first time the fund invested in a digital assets company within its U.S. stock holdings. This quarter, it sold 23,956 shares, capitalizing on the increased value. MicroStrategy, originally known for its business analytics software, has become a key player in Bitcoin investments. The firm's CEO, Michael Saylor, now closely associated with Bitcoin advocacy, spearheaded this shift. Under his leadership, MicroStrategy has become the largest corporate holder of Bitcoin. By mid-2024, the company owned nearly 1% of all Bitcoin in existence. Our South Korea's NPS diversifies with digital asset investments, eyeing higher yields. The NPS, which oversees one of the world's largest pension funds, is deliberately expanding its investment scope. It is choosing to invest in digital asset companies like Coinbase to diversify its risk across various investment types. The fund hopes to achieve greater yields compared to traditional investment options. The NPS decision to invest in Coinbase at a time when its shares saw a substantial profit of about 40% in one quarter may have confirmed the effectiveness of its approach. Such results could spur more investments into companies linked to digital assets, viewing them as avenues for high growth. South Korea advances digital asset regulations. Our South Korea is progressing toward clearer regulations for digital assets. This is highlighted by the enactment of the Virtual Asset User Protection Act. This legal framework likely influenced the National Pension Service to view digital assets as a more credible investment category reducing regulatory uncertainty, the NPS investment can be seen as a forward-looking move, anticipating the growing importance of digital assets in the future. Follow us on Google News.